Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool 3D car interactive animation with Supply. All right. So here we are in a new Spline project. So for this one, I am not going to build the car for scratch in Spline, but instead I am going to import the external 3D file so that you can just focus on a look and feel and the materials and the lighting. So now I'm going to click on the menu and select import. So in this folder, I have 3D file in the FBX format. All right. So we have this 3D model here. So this is the body of the car. So for now, we just focus on the body. So if you select on this group, you can see that there are a lot of separate component of the car is here. So you can turn it on and off to see which one of these layers is a part of the car. And if you select any of these layers, you can see on the right panel. We have the materials and all of the other properties. So you can select materials and work on it. For example, here I am going to change the color. So you can see that the window on the right in changing the color as well. Now I want to apply glass effect, click on plus icon under material, click on drop down and select glass. Now you see it's look like glass. So now we are going to change the color of the car pin to a very dark black like this. And then let's add another layer. I am going to switch from color to matte cap. So basically this one is a kind of shading simulation. It's going to give you this really cool shiny finish of the material. And if you click here, you can see that there are some more options down there. So you can select any of these to see how it's going to look like in a 3D model. But for this one, I'm going to select the last one. It seems like it looks pretty good with this kind of shiny and dark and black finish. So you can also go here and use this intensity. I think this is looking pretty good. So now I'm going to save the material so that we can apply it or other parts of the car. So let's click on the button and open the material panel. And from here, we can click on the plus button and create a new material. So for this one, I'm going to name it body paint. So next, we are going to go through the rest of the component and adjust the material. We need same material as the body. All we have to do is click on the menu and apply the material that we have saved before so that we can save a tons of time. So now my car is ready, but still we need to lot of work on this car. I am going to create a platform. So let's click here and create a rectangle and click on anywhere and we can scale it much bigger. Kind of like this and move it down a little bit. So you can change the color of the rectangle to be a much dark like this. And you can also click anywhere on the background to change the color of the environment. So I'm going to make the environment much darker. So let's use this setup for now. And then we are going to move on the setup the lighting. I add first direction light. So we have the direction light which is looking pretty good already. So you can play around with the light by moving it a little bit to be a side. And you can also adjust the intensity. size, 
quality by adjusting increasing the blur effect here all right so for the next step i'm going to add some light of these headlights so let's create a spotlight so we have a spotlight shows up here so i'm going to bring it to the right position in the front of the car and then we can also adjust the intensity as well as the blurness of the light so once we are done with the one light we can duplicate in into another one so we have the two spotlights casting on the platform here but it's kind of missing a little bit of the glow effect all over the actual light so i'm going to create a point light and let's move it to front on the car headlight so now you can see that is a creating a some kind of glow effect and make it very more realistic so we can move it even closer to the highlight and also adjust some of the properties here like intensity and distance and also once you are done with it you can duplicate it and move it to the other side as well and then we are going to go the same of the backlight so i'm going to create another point light here and move it up little bit and then for the light i'm going to select red color and we can also adjust the property of the light so that it look less intense and then again after you are done you can duplicate it into the second one and move it on the other side okay so for now you can click on the button to preview it so everything is looking pretty badass like the lighting is working the material is working all right So first thing I'm going to make this wheel spinning around as the car is moving. So I'm going to select the wheel and go to this state tab up here. And click here to add another state. So we have two state here. The basic state and the second state down here. So with the second state selected, I'm going to adjust the rotation value of the wheel. So I'm going to add 360 degree more. so it's going to rotate one full circle so we have these two states here with two different rotation values so let's create a new event so for this one i'm going to select start and for the action let's select transaction and make sure that the transaction will start from the base state and the second state and make sure that there are no is for this one and then for the loop maybe let's try in fight so okay so let's preview it so now you can see that is rotating and then let's apply the same process to the other wheels all right so we have the four wheels spinning like this so looking pretty good so the only thing left to do is the animate the platform so we can have it really feel like it moving on the road so for the platform we need a image on the road moving vertically so i have this shape back here on the road so here we are back in spline so i'm going to select the platform and in the material let's create another layer 
and switch this layer to image so by default we have the box default image here but we don't need a box here so let's click on the button to load the road image so now we need to scale it let's x 2.20 and y 1 and image property 20 now looks good and then we got something like this and then make sure that we are diving in the middle of the lane to make sure that we are not going to have any legal problem okay so next animate the background click on the state select state set x position like 5000 then select event click transaction select base state easy now to linear and loop is invite okay so let's click on the play button to preview it so we have a very pretty good animation of the car but we need to make it blend it more environment because we still see the rectangle on the platform so let's go back and i'm going to add another layer and for this layer let's select gradient so we have this nice gradient here and for this color i'm going to go to black in the middle and then let's reduce the middle point opacity to 20 so we can see the road more visible so now we can see that we have a really nice vintage effect on the platform so it's totally blending to the background environment okay so next step i'm going to add another camera and by default we have this kind of camera angle but we want to change it to perspective so it's look more dramatic like this all right so this is looking pretty good so i'm quite happy with this so i'm going to export it and public url to share with everyone and let's click on the preview to see how it's look like so now you can turn it around the car so that's the process of the making this really cool 3d car interactive and animation with spline so i hope you enjoyed this video if you found this video helpful for you please consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so never miss out our latest update. So I will see you in the next video. Take care.